Hello and welcome to Emma Reed Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash fuck you, Karen. You are the absolute worst governor ever. I can't stand watching or listening to you. Okay, Karen. Sorry, maybe you have a hard time seeing. My name is not Karen. Okay, Karen. The face Karens make when they can't use an expired coupon. I'm scared. How Karens feel after destroying a teen employee's entire mental health because they got their food wrong. Did you know that if a restaurant messes up your order, you can simply say, oh, actually I ordered this and that, instead of screaming at the 16-year-old employee and they will still fix it for you. I don't turn on my headlights because I am not a sheep. I refuse to live in fear. I can see just fine. I respect your choice to use your lights, so respect my choice not to. If other drivers cannot see me, that is their problem. It may be a law, but it is unjust and infringes on my constitutional rights. I have a medical exemption and you are not allowed to ask me about that. I am a member of the Freedom to Drive in the Dark Committee. How anti-maskers think they look like. How they actually look like. The elites just don't want you to know this, is, but the ducks at the park are free. You can take them home. Ducks are protected by the migratory bird law. Don't take them. You will get in trouble. Trust me. A duck wrote this. Don't fall for his tricks. Shut your fucking mouth and give me all your breadcrumbs. Don't you mean quack? I don't know about this guy being 100% duck. Ah, Here's the game my son wants. I'm going to ignore these stickers saying it's for adults and become outraged when I see adult content. Oh, these fucking Karens. But <laughs> I can't my fucking car. My daughter has to get in. He won't I, move his car. I, my daughter has to get in. Move it. You parked it too fucking close. You, you. Yeah, you, 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 you heard you, me. Do you, when you open that door, you she do this a lot? Car. Is she okay? No, she's fine. The car is parked too close to her car. Do you see your tire? You Let's get serious. Let's get serious. You see the line that separates these? Tire. Now come over here. Come over here. Come on. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. No, come here. Look. Just for fun. Look. And then look at this. Look, your tire is right on that white line. You need to stay within the lines. You're crazy. Look, you little shit. You fucking old bitch. You're driving a car like that, asshole. You're not happy, man. I'm. You're an old fart. I'm just... Yeah. Park that shit correctly! I'm just being entertained, frankly. I'm in disbelief. You need to stay within the lines. So calm and empathetically as if he's explaining colouring to a five-year-old. I like how after being shown she parked terrible, she just starts insulting him and acting like a child. God forbid she make a mistake and admits it. Gotta double down on stupid. Bitches be crazy. Bitches really do be crazy. She took the ball. Juan Miranda tried to give it to the little gal. And she took it she from her. took it right from her. And that was last oh, Friday. Beyond wrong. Oh, bless her heart. The haircut. The attitude. The Karen. This woman is Karen Prime. Maybe if we kill this one, the rest will become normal, non shitty people. Unlikely. They are like Borg. Resistance is futile. You will speak to your manager, your employees and business will be boycotted by our own. You have no idea who we are. We are the Karens. This is me off to no end when I see childless couples without at Disney World. Disney World is a family amusement park, yet these immature millennials throw away their money on useless crap. They have no idea the joy and happiness it is to be mothers who buy their babies treats and toys. They will never experience the exhaustion that it is to chase a three-year-old around and getting stares at assuming I'm a bad mother. This cunt in some very slutty shorts was buying a Mickey pretzel and Aiden wanted one, but the line was very long, so I said later, and it broke his poor little heart and he cried. I wanted to date that fucking pretzel from that tramp. Like, thanks, bitch, you made my son cry. Disney World is for children. People without children need to be banned. Mothers with children should be allowed to skip all the line. You have no fucking idea what it's like to have to stand in line for three hours with a cranky, tired, exhausted toddler. And I can't just tell him that we can't do something because it's his vacation too. I fucking hate childless women with a burning passion. Dude, maybe I just lost my kids in the park. Stop judging. Sounds like the world and its problems and her kid crying are always going to be someone else's fault. Especially hot chicks in short shorts. Wow. 
I think this Karen should never leave the house again. I love buying the Platinum Pass at Six Flags and not only skipping all of the lines, but also not leaving the ride when it's over because we get to go twice. The Karens go absolutely apeshit. My answer every time? Pay the extra hundred dollars and you can have this too. There's nothing in their head that equates effort or giving up something to get something. It's always just me, me, me. Please, just wear a mask. Anti-maskers. Karen's grandfather, who wore a gas mask in his trench for six days straight, watching her refuse to wear a piece of cloth for 20 minutes. My three-year-old is not vaccinated and there is currently a measles outbreak in my state. Any suggestions for precautions I can take to protect her would be very much appreciated. Bring her to the edge of the flat earth, the air is cleaner there. Have you tried thoughts and prayers? Build a wall around her and make the vaccinated people pay for it. Sending my thoughts and prayers. Did you try sharing her picture on Facebook with the caption? One like equals one prayer. Vaccines don't work. Evidence you're wrong. Evidence you're right. La 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 Karen's when they're forced to abide by a joint custody ruling. I do anything for my country. We just need you to wear a mask. But I don't wanna. A lady just sat down and the first thing out of her mouth was, I'll get a water, no ice, because I doubt you're following COVID regulations with your ice. And it was in that moment that I realised Karen's had been reloaded with a whole new set of ammunition. Overland Park Regional Hospital, and I am not wearing a mask. Hey, um, I was wondering how to get to the exit. You can go back up this way and in the middle there'll be an elevator. Mm-hmm. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, thank Good. you. Hello, how are you doing today? Hi, how are you today? Hi. Doing good this evening? Yes. Good. Okay. Are we going out? Yeah, will okay. you show me the way out? Please, straight down that hallway there. Uh -huh. Okay, out through the ER. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Sure. She looks like she's the one who got butt hurt because nobody wanted to contend with her trifling ass. Ain't nobody got time for all that. Didn't know goth Karen was a thing. Neither did the rest of us. As a goth, we don't acknowledge her. Oh gosh, she's been shunned by her own. No one probably said anything because they know that we live in a day and age where if you ask someone to wear a piece of fabric, they'll throw a total shit fit. Hello, how are you today? Irritated me so much. OMG. This is the same kind of mental gymnastics you have to do to think, oh, I can't see the curvature of the earth, so the earth is flat. Even a tiny animal knows more than Karen. To the lady at Target who chided me for not wearing a mask. You do you, I'll do me. When asked by the store greeter, I politely complied. It's their right to require that to shop in their store. It's my right to not do so anytime I'm not asked to. I'm taking my chances with Governor Abbott's order and this virus. That's my business to risk being ticketed. If you believe masks work or are in an at-risk group, by all means, please wear it. I don't. I'm not going to get that close to anyone at Target. I'm not going to put my hands on my face until I sanitise or wash. Her, you need to wear a mask. Me, you need to mind your business. Her, as I walked away. Unbelievable. Me to myself. Don't do it. Don't say it. Just keep walking. Hashtag. What a Karen. I've seen this posted everywhere by actual Karens who have no idea that they are the damn Karen with that response. Ugh, I just want to take them out back and old yeller them. A lady walked by me and said, no mask. I said, no panties either. That shut her up. Don't play with me, Karen. No, she's signing it off as Karen. All oh, right. Looking for funny Karen tombstone epitaphs. For Halloween, I'm carving up a set of tombstones for the front yard out of foam and I'm working on a set of funny epitaphs to put on them. I want to do at least one Karen-related one, something to the extent of 
Cara in 1960-2020 should have worn a mask. But you know, actually witty and funny. Your scythe is filthy. Get me your manager. Karen, 2020. Lived, laughed, but forgot to love. Lived to harass, loved to complain, laughed at others. Backed into deep pit while arguing over a mask. Winner of the 2020 Darwin Award for trying to argue physics with a semi doing 65 on the interstate. Now demanding to speak with Satan's manager. How about Karen? 1975 to 2020. I don't need to wear a mask. Or, I have a mask exemption. Not a great experience here. We arrived at 8.30 and they gave us a very uncomfortable table at the entrance where everyone was just walking through. The waiter was like he already wanted to go home, not paying attention to what we needed. I am not Karen, I mean Korean. I ordered a cold noodle soup. When I tasted it, I didn't like the cold feeling, so I asked if that could be warmed up. They told me that's how the dish is supposed to be. I understand that, but I don't care. If I wanted it warmed up, that shouldn't be an issue for them. Everybody eats different. Again, I'm not Karen. Sorry, I mean Korean. I'm not used to cold dishes, and they were kind of rude about it. At the end, I couldn't eat my dish because they didn't warm up my noodles. Finally, someone in charge came out, and they didn't charge my dish on the bill, but he was blaming me that the menu said it was a cold dish. They don't understand that when it's the first time trying a new kind of food from the opposite side of the world, you are open to try it, but if you don't like it, you're not to blame. Neither they are, but they have to understand that not everybody is Karen, I mean Korean, and some other people may need to do something weird for them to their food to like it. Again, I'm not Korean. She misspelled Karen. I ordered a cold noodle soup. I didn't like the cold feeling. Karen at her peak. Could you please microwave my salad? Please warm up this ice cream. I don't like the icy feeling that is written clearly here in the name. I'm not Korean. I'm a vegan, went to a steakhouse. They gave me steak. I asked them for it to be impossible meat instead of meat. They told me this is how steak is meant to be served. Can you believe it? I'm not from America, but went to an American restaurant and ordered the cheeseburger. They gave me a sandwich that only had a thin layer of cheese and a big chunk of beef. I couldn't eat it because I'm a vegetarian. I told the waiter that I ordered a cheeseburger, not a beef burger, but he pretended like he didn't understand what I was talking about. I then called the manager to complain. He told me that's just how they make their cheeseburgers. I complained some more and then finally a few minutes later they offered to make me a proper cheeseburger, although they called it a grilled cheese. I'm trying to pre-order PlayStation 5 right now through sheer force of will. Well, my son pissed me off so I logged into his Amazon account and cancelled his PS5 pre-order. That'll teach him. Ha <laughs> ha! Yup, that'll teach him Karen. Teach him to hate you even more than he already did. I am so happy to be part of this group. I lived in this place back in the 90s, but moved out after an incident involving kids selling lemonade in my neighbourhood without a permit. I called the police on them and ever since then I felt like I wasn't welcomed in this community. Nevertheless, it's nice to stay connected. Well, that was pretty evil villain of you, so you get what you deserve. I don't understand the problem. It's a serious issue. I had to move out of my neighbourhood a few years ago. My neighbours were having a barbecue in the middle of a fucking Saturday, the nerve! So I sprayed gasoline all over them to get them to go inside. It wasn't my fault the gas caught fire. After that, everybody were such dicks to me. Carinator, on her way to demand to speak to the manager. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and hit the notification bell as I put out the daily content.